Hey guys, how's it going? So, today's video is uh, me doing a t-shirt. But uh, the part of this that's really fun is the fact that what happened was I was grocery shopping and the young girl at the grocery store said, Oh, I really like your shirt, sir. And I was like, Oh, well, thank you very much. And she says, Oh, that's really cool. Did you do it yourself? And I said, Yes. And I said, Oh, I'll do one for you if you want, right? And she goes, Oh, well, how much? And gave her a price and she was like, Oh, oh yeah, I want that. And uh, so I went and did one. And I actually wound up liking it so much that I actually did one for myself. So I actually did two versions of the t-shirt. Uh, the first one, I wasn't that big of a fan of. But the second one that uh, was in the purple and with the uh, and then I used the uh, bleach with it, I thought it was just excellent. So I did that for her. I just delivered it just now. And uh, so thank you very much, Natalie. And uh, so watch the video, see how it's done. And I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, guys? Yeah. All right, guys, this is going to be uh, a t-shirt that I'm going to do. And uh, so I'm going to do a lot of painting on it and that. But what I thought originally was that I'd like to put a little bit of bleach. I'm going to use the bleach idea and then paint idea. So kind of mix it all up to uh, make this actually happen. But the actual idea, I'm not 100% sure of yet. So I'm still kind of playing around in my brain as to what I might do. So I'm thinking that maybe... Uh, something like this might work really cool. Uh, what I'm thinking is, what part do I want to bleach out? What part do I want to keep? So this is where I'm kind of a little perplexed as to which way I should go with it and that. So if I was going to cut it out, maybe I will just cut it out so that it's just basically this little shape and that. So nice and simple. And that and then it'll be the painting that'll actually make it happen and then I was thinking yeah something like that might be kind of cool so that's all I'm gonna do is just gonna simply cut this out with some scissors and then I'm gonna hit it with the bleach and then I'm gonna also start painting it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the inside aspect and then go from there I think that's the way I'm going to do it. Yeah, I think so. I'll see what happens. So yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sketch this back into the lines where I've actually got my idea from. So I basically have the tongue coming out, right, of the face. And then I also have where the eye is going to be. I think I'm going to make the eye actually a little bit bigger than that. And yeah. I think I kind of have what I want right there. And then the rest will be paint. Um, so yeah, it should work out pretty cool. And then what I'll see is I'm just gonna spray uh, bleach on it just to see what happens. And then keep working it from there. So it's just kind of gonna wind up being a painted t-shirt. Uh, let me see what happens. But I have the, yeah, the tongue hanging out. It kind of looks like the Maori type of uh, natives of New Zealand thing and uh, not until somebody actually told me uh, about that that I knew that I was drawing that kind of a picture because I get uh, a lot of people say my stuff looks very native looking and again I didn't realize that until somebody had mentioned it to me and then I looked up and I was like oh my gosh I've been doing this kind of stuff for all these years and uh, there's actually somebody else who's been doing it for hundreds of years and, that, and I think it's just beautiful stuff so that's why I thought, oh, I'm going to go with that. And uh, I like that look on that. And I just like that idea of the uh, sticking the tongue out as fearsome, you know. Bah! Love it. So there you are. I think I got it all figured out. So now it's just a matter of spraying it with some bleach and then going from there. Okay. So, you know, I just got to sit back and wait for the bleach to do its thing. And then I'll uh, rinse that out and we'll go from there. And it looks like it's doing a good job. And, that, and then I just realized that I didn't put a backing on this. So that might show up on the other side. But then again, maybe I'll just make it a double-sided uh, t-shirt. Yeah, sometimes I forget things. Actually, I forget a lot of things. So we'll see what happens here. 
yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to wait and see what happens. Well, I have learned a valuable lesson. One is the fact that bleach can actually get old. The bottle of bleach that I got was from a friend of mine, and the only thing that was unusual about it was that it was a 10-year-old bottle of bleach, and it just didn't really do the job. So I had to go and get a brand new bottle of bleach. But I am definitely happy that my friend was able to uh, supply me with this uh, old bleach that he had. And that, it, you know, turned out okay, but not as good as I would have liked. So I'm just going to add a little bit more bleach to it and uh, see where that goes. Because it just wasn't happy enough. I wanted a little bit more coming through. So there you are. But isn't that unusual? You learn something new all the time. Here I was thinking that the bleach uh, didn't matter if it was 10 years old or 100 years old, it would still work exactly the same. And it didn't actually do what I thought it was going to do. So I think this is going to do the proper job. And then I'm going to do that on my other one because uh, the color didn't come out hardly at all. So I'm going to hit that with a brand new bleach on that and uh, see what happens there. But I just found that absolutely hilarious that the old bleach actually got old. Oh well, there you are. You learn something new all the time. Since I have an old shirt here for myself, I'm gonna try uh, the, other, the other direction and see what happens. Kinda like the idea of, uh, of the picture itself. So I think I, I'm gonna do this one for me just for fun. Hence why there's such a bigger area. But this bleach is actually uh, really old bleach, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. But we're giving it a shot and see what happens. And that, all I really need it for is just the outline. I, I'm not really worried about it being perfect or crisp and clean. I don't care about that because I'm gonna add paint to it later. So not that big of an issue for me. Uh, but what I do have to do here is uh, dampen it off, otherwise it's just going to bleed backwards. Again, like I said, I just kind of want to see what's going to happen. Uh, oh, good enough, good enough. See, again, I'm not overly concerned. I, I'm just kind of wanting the shape. And I don't know how much of that bleach is actually going to pull out, but I'm going to go take this and throw it down in the wash while the other one's in there and see what happens. Now, this is the one that I've already sprayed and you can barely tell there's a difference, right? So now I'm going to do with the new bleach, so hopefully there is a difference. Let me actually see some color actually go away. Oh, actually it looks Kind of like something's happening there. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot more like than before. I mean, oh my gosh. It's absolutely sad. <laughs> but yeah, no color was coming out. And that was like straight bleach. So I got bleach going again here. I can smell it. Which, the last one, you couldn't actually smell the bleach. <laughs> and that. And then I got some paper towel here just to grab up the droplets. That. But yeah, I can see the difference already. Holy smokes, that was incredible. And then I'll just pick up the droplets, right? Because you don't want that. And you, you know, I mean, I'm not concerned that this is going to be a perfect, clean situation, but I did just want some kind of a silhouette type kind of a look so that when I added paint to it, that I could see the direction I was going to go. So. Look at this, look at the difference. Oh yeah, holy Toledo. Wow, night to day, night to day. So, back to the wash, clean it all up, dry it all out, and then paint the heck out of it.
Okay, guys, so what'd you think of that? Two t-shirts, two versions. Uh, like I said, the first one, it was okay, but it just wasn't hitting me. And I wanted to make sure that the girl liked it, right? So I made the second one, and I was like, yeah, that's the one. So as I said, Natalie really appreciated it. Uh, I really thank her for uh, letting me do the video and uh, also for uh, buying one of my t-shirts. So, uh, oh, by the way, if you guys, if you ever uh, want a t-shirt, contact me and let me know. And if I can uh, get it sent out to you, I'll gladly do that. And, you know, uh, basically I just like doing my own theme. And, that, and uh, there you are. So, remember, be cool like a big bull moose. And always wear your pants. Have a great one. Oh, sorry guys, forgot to tell you. Oh my gosh. Little, little hint here, right? But on Friday, I'm going to be doing a video about Safari Ari, right? And it's all about the fact that he's just finished his Canada run. So make sure you watch for Friday's video and we'll talk to Ari himself and that. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun too. So have a great and wonderful day.